We are gonna get back on the whole dark spot correcting. So I found something, two things by Palmer's. I don't know if you guys have this where you are. We got an Aldi's grocery store. Today, instead of going to the grocery outlet, I was like, I'm gonna try to go to the Aldi's. Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today we have another exciting skincare Saturday. Fingers crossed it is better than the last skincare Saturday where we tried that stupid suction device because that shit was dumb. So let's hope this stuff that we have today isn't dumb. We are gonna get back on the whole dark spot correcting because I was looking at my face and like this side not so bad this side what the hell is happening so I found something two things as a matter of fact by Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E you've seen the packaging before they have a dark spot correcting cleanser as well as ultra hydrating serum the skincare people, they know how to get me. This one says dark spot correcting, super huge. And then this one says restores radiance and smooths fine lines. So you know how normally we're either like, it's one or the other. We're either using something that corrects dark spots and that's it, or we're using something that like makes our wrinkles go away and that's it. Palmer's got them both and we're doing them both. So let's find out about it. Palmer's Cocoa Butter with Vitamin E even tone dark spot correcting cleanser which is interesting this isn't something that you like put on wash the what's that old commercial like wash that gray right out of your hair we're gonna wash those spots right off of our face that's what i feel like this is gonna do instant foaming brightens evens skin tone purifies balances vitamin c and licorice extract with palmer's tone enhancing complex I don't know what that is, but it's in here. With daily use, skin transforms into luminous, clear, and balanced perfection. All right, Palmers, I love the language on the back of this. Apply two to three pumps to dampened skin. Allow the ingredients to penetrate for at least one minute before rinsing. Okay. We're gonna wash our face, but we're gonna leave this on for one whole minute before rinsing it off. I have a dampened face. I need to apply two to three pumps. So, I don't know if I need to shake it, but I'm shaking it. One. No, that was zero. That was zero too. One, two, we'll do three. Three, because the first one was kind of little. So we're gonna put this on our face and then wait it smells lovely. It smells like the vitamin C stuff we use, like, you know, what's her name? Sunday Riley, that vitamin C moisturizing stuff we used. It smells really good. Like I wanna lick it. I wonder, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hands too and leave it there for one minute. You know, gotta keep the back of the hands looking young too. I just wanna keep rubbing it in for one minute, but I guess I just let it sit. I don't have the watch, so I'll just count to 60. While we're waiting for one minute, feel it. This, on um, back of my hands absorbed all the way into my skin. Is that what it's doing to my face? Yeah, kinda. I was reading the back and the front and all of this packaging, and there's no within two weeks, within one week, within two days, anything. There's no promises on this packaging at all, which I like, you know. I hate those empty damn promises. And there is no promise on this ultra hydrating serum either. You know me, when there's no promise, we're gonna try it for two weeks using this product day and night. I feel like that's a good time frame to see if we need to continue to use it or to see if we should just throw it in the damn garbage. So we're gonna do this for two weeks, but right now we're gonna rinse this off my face. It's been penetrated. We're good. We rinsed off the Even Tone Dark Correcting Cleanser. I guess this is day one, night one of washing the dark spots. You know them. 
You've seen them. Damn, I feel like they're getting worse. Oh, okay, not that this has anything to do with my dark spots getting worse, but full disclosure, since it's been October, and Halloween. I have been running myself ragged like a crazy person. I have very much neglected my skincare over, I'm gonna go with the whole month of October pretty damn much. I've been washing my face in the morning, putting moisturizer on and then my makeup on and going to work, but I was barely washing my face at night. I was so tired. I just like passed out, went to bed, woke up with makeup on my face. I know for a fact, like three or four nights this last week, I was crazy. I was making a costume and, you know, I was Madonna from the 2003 VMAs when she performed with Madonna and Christina Aguilera and that costume took me a long time to make. Anyways, and then with decorating, I mean, these are all excuses, but I'm just letting you know I've neglected my skincare. So we're getting back on it with dark spot correcting as well as it's, ooh, I miss these words, skin perfecting ultra hydrating serum. Bam. Oh yeah, so if you're wondering, I just got out of the shower and to dye my hair because I neglected my hair for the entire month of October too. We just washed our dark spot away and I did take a before picture as I always do. And now we are going to restore our radiance and smooth our fine lines. So Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, how are you gonna do that? It says encapsulated retinol, hy oh hyaluronic. <gasps> Is this the word? I cannot stand that commercial with what's her face from Desperate Housewives, The Neighborhood. You know who she is. It's like a L'Oreal commercial or something. And when she's like sitting there and she's like, hi, hyaluronic acid, like we're dumb. Anyways, that's this word, hyaluronic acid and concentrated coca, coke. I'm going to say cocoa, not cocoa or whatever the hell. Concentrated cocoa polyphenols. That's what this shit has in it. Formulated with a blend of encapsulated retinol and hyaluronic acid to help dramatically improve skin texture, tone, and firmness. It does say that it can sometimes lead to irritation. Oh, the encapsulation process addresses this irritation factor by creating a time-released effect. Well now, Palmers, and the hyaluronic acid is naturally present in the skin and has shown to retain up to 1,000 times its weight in water, allows skin to hold on to moisture and maintain a youthful, radiant appearance, keeping out pollutants and irritants. Well, damn. We've got the encapsulated retinol to help smooth out our fine lines, and we've got the hyaluronic acid for our ultra hydration. Ooh, what's up, Palmers? This is nice. That's glass. Okay, after cleansing, it just says one to two. Interesting. The directions on the back of the box say after cleansing, apply two to three pumps to face. This bottle says after cleansing, apply one to two pumps. What is it, Palmers? Someone clearly did not proofread these two things together. One, two, we're gonna say three. We want really smooth lines. We're just gonna rub this on. It has like a scent, but it's not, like it's the faintest of scents. And I don't think two to three pumps is enough because I don't have enough for my neck. Like it's already drying up. Let me put some more so I can get my neck. We don't want a saggy neck. No, no, no. I just feel like I want more. Um, it absorbs really quickly. I put five pumps on. Probably need to work faster with the two to three pumps. There you have it. It feels nice. It just absorbs super fast. So in a perfect world, I would have some Palmer's Day or Night Cream, and I don't, but maybe tomorrow I will. So we'll see. Night one, Palmer's, washing away our dark spot and restoring our radiance and smoothing our fine lines for two weeks. So it has been one week and one day, so eight days of me washing my face with this right here and following up with the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Skin Perfecting Ultra Hydrating Serum, which I don't know how ultra hydrating it is because right under my nose, like see, it's like dry, dry skin from an ultra hydrating serum. I don't think that's what's supposed to happen to be quite honest. I'm guessing that the hyaluronic acid 
is making it so the retinol doesn't dry your face out, except for it's drying out right under my nose. I have been using two to three pumps morning and night. Also, it says here that I'm supposed to follow up with a day or night cream, which I have not been doing these last seven days because I went to the grocery outlet last weekend, you know, right after I started this, and they did not have any day or night cream by Palmer's. And then I went over to the Walgreens and they didn't have any either. So because I'm getting so dry right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Cindy Crawford anti antioxidant day cream because I still have a lot of it left. That's what I'm gonna start now and hopefully these dry patches under my nose go away. I can't be 100% positive if the dryness is being caused by this ultra hydrating serum because of the retinol or if it's just because the weather is changing and it's kind of cold now, folly, dry, can't be sure, but it seems interesting that I started this and then, you know, like five or six days later, I'm getting kind of dry and cracky under my nose. That's all I'm saying. I am going to heat up some water and we are going to wash my face even though I've already washed my face. That was this morning. And so I'm trying to get out of my not washing my face in the night habit. So here we go. We're gonna wash a clean, well, uh, semi-clean face. The face is damp because I'm supposed to apply two to three pumps to dampen skin. Allow ingredients to penetrate for at least one minute before rinsing. That is the worst part, especially in the morning when you're trying to get ready for work and wash your face really quick and do your makeup because you, you know, woke up late and then you have to sit with this, one, two, three, on your face for a minute. And it's not like you can multitask with like dripping face cleanser on your face. That's what I don't like. And I was putting it on the backs of my hands, but then sitting like this for one whole minute was even less multitasking because I couldn't use my hands for anything. And it's like, when does the timer start for one minute? Is it when you start rubbing it in or after it's all rubbed in and then you have to wait one minute? I've been rubbing it in and then waiting. Also too, when I take off my makeup at night, it's literally foamy, dirty makeup sitting on my face. So I'm contemplating like, should I be washing the makeup off my face first, even though it doesn't say that. So that's the other thing that's weirding me out is I'm literally sitting with foamy dirt and makeup on my face for a minute. Not quite sure about that. But I do have a fun story while we're waiting for this to penetrate my skin for one minute. And it is about how I finally canceled my Cindy Crawford subscription. It wasn't easy, but I did it. I went to the website and instead of calling customer service, they had like a live chat feature. The live chat took about 20 minutes. First, it was this one gal asking me, you know, what could she help me with? And I said, I'd like to cancel my subscription. She said, can I ask why? And I said, yeah, I just want to cancel it. I took screenshots and I'll put them up because it's super funny. They did not want me to cancel at all. I'm sure no company wants anybody to cancel, especially when they're like, oh damn, that's like over a hundred bucks. We're gonna be missing out. Then another girl comes on this live chat. She says, oh, I see you've been a customer since 2016. I was like, yeah. She asked like, why do you wanna cancel? And I said, it doesn't give me the results that I was anticipating, especially for the cost, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. And then she writes, thank you for letting me know. I would suggest for you to continue using the products. Also, I will send you a free sample of overnight retinol repair cream. And I felt like writing her back, lady, I already have that, which is designed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes, mouth, and forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. I already have it. So I told her, actually, I told her about the whole eight products in eight weeks test and I didn't see much of a difference. Therefore, I want to cancel. And then she writes, I'm so sorry to know that. Since cost is one of the factors for your cancellation, I will provide a 20% lifetime discount for all of your future orders. This will reduce your current price from $116 to $95. Let's apply that discount now so that you can continue to see results at a lower price. <laughs> She's like, let's just do it. Whether you went to or not, this is what's happening. So I said, no, no, I don't feel the results I'm seeing justify the cost. The offer 
is tempting. However, I would still like to cancel my subscription. And then she writes, I understand that you really need to cancel, but for now, <laughs> This is comical. But for now, we can postpone the next kit because my next kit, I needed to hurry up and cancel because my next kit was actually scheduled to ship in like a week or two. For now, we can postpone the next kit until February 2020 for you to try other products that I will be sending you. She didn't really clarify if she was gonna send me these products for free or if she was gonna charge me for them. So then finally, I was like, seriously, she's not getting it. So I just wrote, no, thank you. Please cancel my subscription. No need to postpone my next shipment or provide me with a discount. Conversation wrapping up 20 minutes later, she writes, I understand your decision and have canceled your account as requested. Yeah, that's how my cancellation with Cindy Crawford went uncanceled but it was, it was quite a process. So now that I've been sitting with this penetrating my skin for more than a minute, let's rinse it off. So we are rinsed. Even tone, dark spot correcting cleanser. What do you think? I don't think I'm seeing anything. Look at it. Look at my dark spots. They're still there. I know it's only been a week. There are no claims on this packaging whatsoever. We just decided on our own that we were gonna test it for two weeks because I think two weeks is a fair amount of time morning and night to see if something is happening. I'm not looking for drastic results. I'm just trying to see if we see any lightness at all and should I continue this? Is it actually working? This is the beginning of week two. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Before and after. I don't know. And the fact that I have to leave it sitting on my face for a whole minute, morning and night, is just crazy talk. If it ends up working, yeah, I'll do that. It wasn't that expensive. And so now I'm just gonna follow up with my um, ultra hydrating serum, two to three pumps of this put on night cream, whatever, and then go to bed. Week one, done. Okay, it is official. It's the last night of the two week test of the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E, Even Tone Dark Spot Correcting Cleanser, along with Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E, Skin Perfecting ultra hydrating serum. Did it correct my dark spots in two weeks? I don't know. Didn't claim two weeks, didn't claim anything, but you know, for our testing purposes, we think that if we try something for two weeks, that should be a good indicator of whether or not we should continue using it or if we think it's complete bullshit. It says it's supposed to restore radiance and smooth fine lines. Um, I think we're hard pressed to find a fine line on my face, I think all my lines are fucking deep. What's like the opposite of fine? Those are mine. So I don't know if we'll be able to tell if this actually did anything in two weeks in the before and afters, we'll take a look. What I will have to say after using both of these, and I don't know which one did it. As you know, I'm getting super duper. Can you see? Look at how dry like around my nose right here is. Something's drying that out and I have a feeling it's the cleanser and not the hydrating serum because that would be weird if a hydrating serum dried out your face. What I have not been doing is what it has per directed. It said, follow with your Palmer's day or night cream. Didn't do that at all. Didn't have Palmer's day or night cream. Thought I was gonna use my Cindy Crawford day cream, which I did maybe a couple of days. But what was really weird is the Cindy Crawford day cream had sunscreen in it. And it was really irritating where my nose was really dry already. And then I thought it was making it more red looking. So I didn't do that. I literally just used these two products for two weeks. I mean, it smells like it, it smells like it's got vitamin C in there, which is weird that might be drying out my face. I don't know. The one minute situation, especially when you're washing your face after a full face of makeup and just letting like sudsy makeup foam sit on your face for a minute is weird. But I've got a good one for you. Story time for the one minute penetration. <sighs> 
I don't know if you guys have this where you are or not. In my town, about, mm, I mean, maybe like a month or two ago, we got an Aldi's grocery store. When it first opened, like people were lined up to go to this grocery store. So like, what the hell is the big deal about it? There was an article in our paper, and so I read it. And what I took away from the article in my paper was that it's like a cheaper grocery store. But the main thing that my takeaway was, was you have to pay 25 cents to get a cart, which I think is ridiculous. So I didn't go, didn't go, didn't go. And then today, instead of going to the grocery outlet, I was like, oh, I think the newness or the excitement of the Aldi's has probably died down. I'm gonna try to go to the Aldi's. I am not a grocery store snob at all. Cause literally you guys know, I go to the grocery outlet. I've fine tuned my grocery shopping to really only need what is offered at the grocery outlet. Sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, you find a product and you're like, I love this. And then you go back next week and it's not there. The grocery outlet's hit or miss, but I love it. Everybody that works there is super nice. I bring my own bags, yet they bag my groceries for me. I don't have to pay 25 cents to get a cart. They always have like name brand items along with some generic items. It's a grocery store, just a little smaller. I love the grocery outlet. I don't know if I said it already, but I fucking hate the Aldi's. It is insane. Let me rinse this off. Okay, so I just rinsed off our cleanser and like, look how dry my nose is. Like, I don't know about that. Yeah. So anyways, I go to the Aldi. And I'm digging in my little center console for change and I don't have a quarter because I usually save all my quarters when I want to go to the Dollar Tree. It's like how I control myself at the Dollar Tree. If I walk in the Dollar Tree with, you know, $5 worth of quarters from my center console, then I can only buy five things. Anyways, I had used up all my quarters. So I grabbed dimes and nickels and I went over to go get a cart and the carts only take quarters. Each cart has like a vending machine thing. So I couldn't get a cart right away. I just wanted to walk away. And there was a lady standing with one of her kids and the kid was literally like, mom, get a cart, get a cart. And she's like, I can't, I gotta wait for your dad. I was like, they don't have a, like a machine where you can like put a dollar in, get a quarter. She's like, no, you have to go inside. So I had to go in, change in my dimes and nickels, get a quarter, come back out, unlock the fucking grocery cart, and then go in. I hated it from go, and it did not get better. I will say the only positive experience I had was that I made three new friends at the Aldi's. I'm serious, it was like, we were all on like a fucking alien planet. The people that had never been there before, like me, were looking around like, what, what is going on? That's how I made friends because every aisle I went down, I was like, are you, are you kidding me right now? First of all, I had watched Vivian Tries, who I love. She was floored by the fact that the Aldi brand pretty much looked exactly, the packaging looked exactly like the name brand, same font, same everything. Um, if it was cereal, they maybe changed the character from like the captain on Captain Crunch to like a monkey. And it was called Kids Crunch instead of Captain Crunch, whatever. So I was intrigued. But little did I know, you can't even get a name brand item at the Aldi. They had name brand soda pop and they had Gatorade. Those were the only name brand items I saw throughout the entire grocery store. Everything else in the grocery store was a knockoff, which is totally fine. But there are certain things that I am kind of snobby about when it comes to buying generic brand. Like number one, yogurt. I am very particular about my yogurt and I eat yogurt and granola every single day for lunch. Aldi, all they had was a freaking knockoff brand. I don't know what it was even called. The only name that comes to mind because I saw a lot of this, Clancy, were items cheaper? Yes. Were they that much cheaper than the grocery outlet? I don't think so. Were they cheaper than like the Vons? For sure. But the, the store wasn't that big. They didn't have a lot of stuff. Like their cereals, they had maybe five or six and they were all fucking sugary as hell. I didn't get any yogurt. Aside from like laundry detergent, no cleaning products. So if you're looking for like Comet or Ajax to clean your sink, nope, not even a knockoff brand. So I'm going through, my cart is barely full. Did I save money? Yeah, but a lot of the reason why I saved money is because I didn't buy that much. I did buy turtlenecks. 
they have this weird aisle boxed. Everything is boxed. Clothing, bras, boxed, underwear, turtlenecks, shoes. In not a shoe box, in like a box. Sheets, scarves, weird stuff. It was kind of, that aisle was kind of fun. So I get to the register and I have my own bags. The girl at the register, I swear to God, I think they're timing her. Like there's a secret hidden camera and if she doesn't move fucking fast enough, she's fired. She had an empty cart right next to her. So normally when you go to the grocery store and you put your stuff on the conveyor belt and then they, they swipe it and then they have a little station at the end and then usually like a bagger comes up and that's where he bags all of your groceries. They don't have that. The end of her aisle is literally the register. So she has an empty grocery cart right next to her. She didn't even look at me. She didn't ask if I had my own bags, nothing. She just was boom, 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 boom throwing all of my stuff into this empty grocery cart. And I was like, in my head, I was like, what? I have fucking bags. I'm barely finishing up unloading my cart and she's almost done ringing me up. These are the only words she said to me the entire time. I'll take your empty cart when you're done. And I was like, fuck, my purse is still in it. My bags are still in it. Let me get my wallet. Fuck, I gotta pay for this shit. So I'm frantically, she pushes the cart that she moved all my food into away from her so that I could put my empty cart next to her again for like her to dump the next person's groceries in. So I pay and then I look and I see this lady, they have like this countertop set up away from the registers. I'm like, what the hell do I do with my groceries? It's like a bagging station. So you literally have to take the cart that she now has dumped all your paid for food in over to this countertop area and bag all of your groceries. And then the cart that she gives you back has a little quarter in it so that when you go lock it back up, you get your quarter back. Yeah, yeah. Then I super made friends with the lady at the bagging counter. I just don't even care who hears me. I walk up to the bagging counter and I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to myself the whole time I'm in the grocery store, like how fucking ridiculous this is. She looks at me and she goes, is this your first time? And I go, yeah, you? She goes, yeah. I go, seriously, what is with this? And she goes, yeah, they're cutting costs at every fucking turn. I'm sure she didn't say fucking because she doesn't have a mouth like a sailor like I do. But I'm like, yeah, seriously, the girl didn't even ask me if I had bags. She goes, no, she doesn't care. Before my receipt had even printed, she's literally scanning the next person's stuff and dumping them into a cart. Zero human interaction aside from give me your empty cart. We both finish bagging and I go to my car and I'm unloading my groceries and then I take my cart back to go chain it up so I can get my quarter back. And as I'm walking out of the cart area, she's walking in. And so as I'm walking away, I'm like, never see you here again. And she's like, yeah, right. Never see you here again. Seriously. I don't know if it's just me, if maybe you guys love the Aldi. Even still, I was like in the car thinking like, why would you come here? I did see a lot of um, elderly couples going and I'm sure they're on like a fixed income and it's probably great for that. But so is the grocery outlet. There are other options and Aldi is not one of them. I know this is a skincare video and I got super sidetracked into a 15 minute rant about the Aldi, but I got home today from the Aldi and put all my groceries away, which was not a lot and was like, never again. I, I like, I still have like flames on the sides of my face. I just, I just had to talk about it. And I'm curious to know, do you guys love the Aldi? Do you hate the Aldi? Have you been to the Aldi? Do you have an Aldi? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Because it's insane and you literally feel like you're on another planet. It's crazy and I'm never going back. But yeah, so how do we like that skincare? <laughs> like, really? We're gonna look at the before and after pictures. What I think is, they're not gone by any means. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're lighter. I don't know if I see much of a difference. I will tell you this. I'm going to, just because this is a cleanser and it washes, I actually washed my face very nicely. As far as a cleanser is concerned, I liked it. I like the way it washes my face aside from if it's causing the dryness. See, that's what I don't know. Cause I was gonna say, I will continue to use it for a cleanser, but I don't like leaving it sitting on my face for a minute. I don't like that at all. I don't think I see a difference, guys. I really don't. And then as far as this is concerned, this hydrating serum, 
What is hydrating serum even anyways? It says it's supposed to restore radiance and smooth fine lines. Am I radiant? Was my radiance restored? Did you look at me in the beginning of this video and think to yourself, damn, if only she were more radiant. I don't know. I think both of these products were a miss for me. Like the dark spot corrector I had high hopes for. Is this the third dark spot corrector we've tested? Because we did L'Oreal, that was a bust. We did Aveeno, which you guys were like on the fence about. And now this, like, is this a conspiracy? Like, can you not get rid of dark spots? And these companies just want us to think that you can correct dark spots? Are dark spots even removable? Because after three tries and me not really seeing all that big of a difference, I'm kind of starting to wonder if dark spots are even anything you can get rid of. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking these two items, while cheap, maybe like $5.99, $5.99. I just think it's a miss. After two weeks, I feel like we should be able to see a little something. And I don't think I saw enough for me to continue using it, to be quite honest with you. Sorry, Palmers. But you guys let me know what you think. You know, sometimes I'm all, I, a lot of time, I'm always jaded. I'm like, fuck oh, this, it doesn't work. And then I'll get comments from you guys and you're like, no, there is a difference. Sometimes I think you guys are wackadoos and there is no difference and you're just being nice. But then sometimes I think maybe I need to rethink that and look again and maybe it did actually work. So this Palmer stuff could be one of those cases, but I don't think so. Not if you're looking to get rid of dark spots like this is promising, which is the whole reason why I wanted to test this. It's a no, it's a no for me. So we had two no's in this video. No to all these and no to Palmer's Cocoa Butter Even Tone Dark Spot Correcting Cleanser. I mean, this is interesting, but meh, no, no, no. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I would love it so much. And be sure to ring the notification bell because it's going to notify you of Skincare Saturday videos. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I also do DIY Wednesday. I feel like you guys know all this. Skincare Saturday, DIY Wednesday, and video game Friday videos. So if you ring the notification bell, you will be alerted to all of those. Oh! I don't want to spoil it. Before I went to the Aldi today, I went to Ulta and I got something that quite a few of you have asked me to try. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. I'll let you just like marinate on it and wonder what could it be? What is she going to try next? Get ready for it. It's kind of exciting. I'm kind of excited about it too because I've been hearing a lot about this from you guys and then just a lot like just research I've been doing. So anyways, yeah, stay tuned for that. And that's why you need to ring the notification bell. Like I'm not lying because this next one you're gonna want to see. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends and as always thanks for hanging out.